Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl I was brought into this world Wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle Though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne Wearing fur, dazzling diamond jewelry A girl can't complain I live in upscale life Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't. Hello, darlings. Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I'm here with this devilish, gorgeous brunette. She's devilishly beautiful. Hi. And very seductive in this little red devil outfit. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the camera doll. Hi, my name is Lauren Cavanaugh. I'm an actress and a playwright and I've been doing a lot of stuff with a, play, a place called 13th Street Repertory Theater and they decided to produce my play and it's called Nunchuck Ninja Nuns. <laughs> Nunchuck Ninja Nuns. Tell my audience, what is that all about? Well, there are a bunch of nuns that swing nunchucks that are rulers. How did you come up with this idea, this concept for the play? Well, it's actually a bunch of skits that I wrote over a period of like a year, and I felt that they were all the same theme, and I thought they were funny, so I put them together and I put the nuns in as a through line, and they come in and they come out and they change the cards and they do all these funny things. They do a can-can and they do a go-go dancing, and then they swing their nunchucks around and you know, just keep the audience guessing on what's going to happen next. So they're tantalizing and they're just teasing the audience. Yes, and actually one character called the Silent Nun, she has a whole bit where she makes love to a paper bag and she has an orgasm at the end of it. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, yeah. the skits were all different, so I had to come up with them whenever I thought of them. And they all have the same theme of sex and religion and the guilt between sex and religion and dating and there's a several scenes where there's really bad dates that we go on the characters go on so now tell my audience what are you drawing from are you drawing from your own life experiences is that what you came up with the material? well maybe because i'm a little bit of a devil no yes, <laughs> dating scenes are based off of real incidents in my life where I'm always either the third wheel or, or, or like I'm on a hot date and then something terribly goes wrong and it's it or you find out something about the, the date that's absolutely terrible so uh, it's kind of fun you know well I hear that the nunchuck ninja nuns is getting a great response I mean the reviews are fabulous and yeah we're getting a lot of people coming to see the play right yeah. oh yeah tonight we had a huge audience it was a lot huge. of fun yeah it was really fun yeah and they're laughing and it's wonderful it's wonderful to see people like what I do it's wonderful to see people New York is out and about coming to see your show yeah. and being thoroughly entertained. Yeah. Now how long have you been an actress, darling? Oh, I started when I was about 12. 12 years old? Yeah. Yeah. Tell my audience what, tell me my audience some of the wonderful things that you've done. Oh my goodness. Way back when I used to play a little boy in a workhouse for Oliver and I started in Connecticut doing community theater there and then I grew up and I went to school for it and I ha I went for musical theater at heart and uh, then I went to NYU and I got my master's in educational theater and I discovered playwriting at NYU so um, I've done a lot of community theater and um, local theater and like uh, Have you done swag. any films yet? I did, I did bits in films, little bits, but uh, I'd like to do more. 
<laughs> but um, no, I, I'm so happy to be working with the people that I'm working with. They're phenomenal actors, and, and the director's awesome, and it's just a lot of fun. And I think I'm finding a real passion is being a playwright, too. It is. It actually is. I get to play the puppet master. Puppet master and see a project from start to finish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, we'll be back in a moment, darlings. Don't turn the channel. More celebrity interviews coming up, and we're going to meet the cast from the Nunchuck Ninja Nuns. <laughs> Welcome back, darlings, to uh, Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we're here at Mumia Cocktail Lounge. And I'm here with these two actresses from the Nunchuck nin Ninja Nunchuck Nunchuck Ninja Nuns! Thank you! Hello! I'm Dr. Montana too. And this... I don't know what's your name! What's your name? You say your name! Are you retarded? She retarded! Oh! No! We work together! But she don't talk... I don't know what's the matter with her! So tell me, darling, the show looks hilarious, those two actors. They were funny as hell. Yeah. And I can see that's where you come from. Tell my audience, where can they go to find out more information about the show, about you, and what you're going to be doing in the future? Well, um, let me just say about the show. It's every Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m. at the 13th Street Repertory Theater. It's a little bit farther down from Union Square. It's on 13th between, I think, 7th, at 6th and 7th, 6th and 7th, at, oh, 5th and 6th, my bad, 5th and 6th, and it's every Friday and Saturday night at 7th. You can go online to see 13thstreetrep.org, or you can go to theatermania.com and just Google uh, Nunchuck Ninja Nuns. You'll find it. Nunchuck Ninja Nuns. I love the title. How did you come up with that title? Uh, it's funny. My father is Catholic, and he talked about being in Catholic school. And uh, he Me said, too. I went to Catholic did. school, so yeah. I didn't. I, I escaped it. But uh, yeah, he talked about how he wanted, he wasn't going into the Vietnam War but he said that the nuns should have gone to the Vietnam War and they would have shaped that war up real quick. And then I saw the nuns dropping out of trees and swinging their nunchucks and go in the woods. Hilarious, hilarious. Yeah. Are you gonna give me a kiss goodbye, darling? Oh, we're European. Keep watching, darling, some more celebrity interviews coming up. Big champagne kisses.